This Saturday is the Climb Out of the Darkness event. It's a worldwide day to raise awareness for postpartum mental illnesses. Local 3's Corinne Griffith joins us with more. Corinne. Postpartum mental illness is an incredibly common occurrence. In fact, one in seven women and one in 10 men will experience a postpartum mood disorder. But for many, recognizing the symptoms and seeking help is not easy. It's pretty normal to feel overwhelmed, you're adjusting, you're tired, you know, there might even be sometimes some feelings of regret. That can be really normal in the first two weeks. Um, if it continues past that mark, it really, you know, could look more like postpartum depression or other things as well. One mother we spoke to described her feelings after having a C-section saying, I had a constant sense of sinking disappointment that I did not have ultimate control over the series of events and that I was not able to have the natural birth I had planned. As soon as my husband husband left the house each day, I had a good hard cry. She also describes strong obsessive compulsive thoughts saying, I started a verbal mantra with myself each time I was exiting the car. Are the keys in my hand? Yes, the keys are in my hand. Repeat four to five times. Am I holding the baby? Yes, I'm holding the baby. Repeat four to five times. Another mother described a severe feeling of anxiety that her daughter would be injured saying, I had horrible nightmares that made the very little amount of sleep I did get agonizing. We can go and we're given a form, oh, how are you feeling today, you know, and it's so easy to, to be dishonest and pretend like we're all okay, but what you ultimately end up doing is you end up cheating your parenthood. You end up cheating um, really yourself. You can find much more information on postpartum disorders and how to seek help on our website, upmatters.com. Reporting in studio, I'm Corinne Griffith, Local 3 News.